So I've been continuing to do research on how young people are engaging in online communities, particularly around gaming and fandom and other youth-driven kinds of interests. And as part of that work, I've been working with a network of educators and technology developers to figure out how we can best connect with what young people are already excited about in their social media engagement and their engagement with affinity networks and seeing how we can connect those activities to learning, education, opportunities, civic engagement, and things like that. So one of the projects that spun out of this work that was funded by the MacArthur Foundation's Digital Media and Learning Initiative is an effort that I've been leading with my co-founder Katie Salen, who's a game designer, and she started a school around game-based learning, and also Tara Brown, who is founder of the LA Makerspace. And we've started an independent nonprofit called Connected Camps, which is offering online learning experiences, after-school programs, and summer camps, mostly within the game of Minecraft. So the idea is that we hire uh, high school and college counselors who are Minecraft uh, experts and nerds themselves, and they work with younger kids in teaching kids how to do engineering, game design, coding, problem solving, civic engagement within the game of Minecraft. Third Culture Kid really comes out of the experiences of young people who grew up sort of following their parents around in jobs and careers that put them in countries that were different from their nationality or whatever, however you define your country of origin. And often these are young people growing up in sort of international schools or American schools abroad. And my brother and I, we grew up in the U.S. when we were in elementary school. We moved to Japan for middle and high school, and we went to the international school and American schools, and we've sort of moved around between the U.S. and Japan. I'm a Japanese national still, but a U.S. resident, and these contexts are full of kids like us, usually people who are you know, either in international business or diplomacy, uh, missionary kids are a big part of that cohort. And I feel in many ways it's super privileged identity, right? Because these are a world of global elites, of families that are moving around the world and creating what we call a third culture of people who don't necessarily fit into the culture that they might have grown up with. There's also unique challenges to third culture kids because we tend not to fit the culture that often where linguistically seem to fit. So people assume I'm American because uh, my education has been within English speaking context, but I'm actually culturally Japanese. Right now, what I'm most passionate about is really doing work that helps translate and build bridges across different communities that I think have shared values and agendas, but don't always have the same culture and vocabulary. So for example, right now I'm working on a project that is focused on translating some of the social scientific work around issues of equity and inclusion and really trying to understand how folks who are designing educational technologies and funding the development of educational technologies which are going to have a really big impact on young people, how they can take some of the insights about you know, issues of cultural difference and inclusion and equity and think about it um, in a really practical way as they de develop and deploy new technologies.